Hello sa mga engineering students natin dyan. Welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now, today is a special episode kasi pinayagan ako ng DRC sa Dilia Online video na uh, interpret yung quiz number 1 and of course, to show the solution of the top 3 uh, difficult problems sa uh, quiz number 1. Anyway, uh, this is actually not a difficult problem, yung top 3. Actually, ito lang yung problem kung saan uh, majority, okay? Ito yung top 3 problems na nahirapan yung mga students. Pinakamarami yung nagkamali. Okay. So anyway, uh, let's proceed. Yan. So, uh, ano yan? Sa back, counting background pala sa quiz na to, ang quiz na to is actually mathematics. So, nasa algebra pa lang kami, no? So, kaya medyo uh, madadali lang yung mga problems dito. Anyway, uh, sa quiz na to, uh, obviously madali lang kasi marami yung nakuha ng malalaking scores. Kaunti lang actually yung mga maliliit na scores. Okay? So, ito na yun, uh, item analysis. So, ito yung mga problems kung saan uh, pinakanahirapan yung mga students. Okay, so we have problem number 9, number 15, and number 4. Okay, so problem number 9, 45.5% lang ang correct. Ibig sabihin, uh, more than half, okay, ng students nagkamali sa problem number 9. So number 15 naman, 52.4. Okay, at saka sa uh, number 4 naman, 54% lang ang tama. Okay, now, by the way, yung discrimination factor, uh, this is actually, ito yung ginagamit namin ng mga instructors, Okay. Kasi uh, ang discrimination factor, uh, ito yung nagdi-describe no, sa quality ng problem, okay? Ang discrimination factor ranges from negative 1 to 1, actually. Pag malaki yung discrimination factor, meaning maganda yung problem. Tapos pag negative naman yung discrimination factor, meaning uh, may mali sa problem or mali yung choices, ganun. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's proceed. Proceed tayo. Okay, so ito yung mga problems na yan. So number 9, number 4, I mean number 15, at saka number 4. Okay, so sa number 9, uh, we have if 3x cubed daw minus 4x squared y plus 5xy squared plus 6x, I mean, plus 6y cubed is divided by x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared, ano daw ang remainder? So actually, uh, I think magagamit natin yung remainder theorem dito or yung long division, synthetic division, depende na siguro. Anyway, uh, check natin mamaya. Sa number 15 naman, mm -hmm, sa number 15, an audience of 540 people seated. Okay, so walang problema. Actually, yung number 15, uh, classic algebra problem lang, no? Two equations, two unknowns. So, wala tayong problema dito. Uh, number 4, Maria. Ah, okay, so wala din problema. Uh, classic age problem lang din. So, uh, let's proceed. Okay. Sorry para kung may uh, aso sa background. Okay. Anyway, so, so number 9, if 3x cubed daw, minus 4x squared y plus 5, xy squared plus 6y cubed is divided by this okay, uh, polynomial. Ano daw ang remainder? Okay, now, unfortunately, hindi pala natin magagamit yung remainder theorem kasi uh, sa, uh, sa pagkakalam ko kasi yung remainder theorem natin, pwede natin gamitin if ever isa lang yung variable. Ano bawa, x lang dito kasi we will try to solve for x and then substitute the value of x dito and then kung ano yung sagot natin dyan, yan yung remainder sa function na to. Now, unfortunately, since uh, dalawa yung variables, mahirapan tayo dito. Kaya, uh, long division na lang yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, ito yung gagawin natin, mga students dyan na nanonood. So, i-divide lang natin, walang problema, long division. So, check natin. So, obviously, yung first term natin dito is actually 3x. Okay? So, 3x times x squared, that is 3x cubed. 3x times this term, that is actually 3 times 2, that's negative 6x squared y. And then, 3 times 3, that is actually positive 9xy squared. Okay? So, after nyan, subtract. Okay? Subtract the terms. So, obviously, this is 0. Okay? So, negative 4 minus negative 6. So, that is, uh, ano yan? Negative 4 plus 6. So, that is actually uh, positive 2 na lang. Positive 2x squared y. And then, uh, ano yan? 5 minus 9. So, that is negative 4xy squared and then bring down the positive xy cubed. Okay, after nyan, let's uh, let's solve for the second term. So, hmm, ang second term dito, obvious naman, no? 2x squared y divided by x squared. So, that is actually 2y, positive 2y. So, multiply ka. Notice na once it multiply natin to, we can actually uh, get this exact term, di ba? This exact term. So, uh, then 2 4, negative 4, tama, tsaka positive 6, y, okay? So, walang problema, so, subtract, that is actually equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, so, yun nga, since 0 yan, 
Ibig sabihin, yung remainder, zero or walang remainder sa problem na to. Okay, so, uh, napakadali lang, no? Now, uh, ito yung shortcut method dyan, actually. So, pwede kang gumamit agad, no, na, sa calculator mo. Okay, by the way, ito yung uh, calculator natin sa mga CE dyan. So, I suggest ito yung gagamitin ninyo, Canon F789SGA, kasi ito na yung pinakamalakas na calculator na available sa board exam sa CE. Okay, so, actually, pwede natin ilagay agad dito yan. So, ano yan? 3x cube Sorry, medyo mahirap i-multiply sa I mean, i-type dito sa emulator A few moments later Okay, so, equals ka lang I think tama naman yung sinuri ko, no? 3x cube minus 4x squared y plus 5xy squared plus 6 squared and then x Yeah, tama lang So, okay, so ang gagawin natin, so Calculate ka lang, calculate, and then assume values for x and y. So, siguro ang x dito is, uh, sige ikaw, 5, tapos ang y kung gusto mo 6, okay? And then, equals. Okay, notice na ang sagot, 27, okay? Ibig sabihin, 27 is a whole number, meaning, okay, walang remainder ang, walang remainder. Okay, ganun lang. So, ibig sabihin, you can just select uh, letter D na. So, ang answer natin dyan is actually 0. Okay, now, sa board exam, uh, hindi ka actually walang pakialam yung mga examiners sa solution mo. Okay, ang gusto lang nila is yung sagot. So, make sure na meron ka mga techniques no, na alam to solve for the problem. So, yun na, uh, you can actually solve this problem number 9 in, ano yun, medyo matagal ako nag-type sa CalQ, but I'm sure sa inyo, kayang-kaya nyo, uh, kayang-kaya nyo isolve yan. Hindi makakaya siya. So, yun nga, unfortunately, pag merong remainder, you cannot use this method. So, ang gagawin nyo talaga is, uh, you can use the remainder theorem or itong synthetic division. Okay? Now, another thing, baka naisipan nyo na i-factor out ito. Yan, i-factor out nyo yan. Now, you can actually factor, baka kasi isipin nyo na, uy, baka ito, factor to dito. Okay? Now, unfortunately, okay sana kung cubic, actually, cubic man ang equation, but meron nga lang tayong y, okay? So, actually, pwede din natin gawin yan, kasi note, na-notice ninyo na ang mga exponents follows a binomial expansion, di ba? Tinan nyo, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, at saka 3. Anyway, uh, punta tayo dito sa mode, and then equation. Punta kayo sa cubic, okay, 2. Ilagay natin tong 3, 4, 5, at saka 6. So, that is 3, negative 4, Okay, 5, at saka 6. Yan o. So, same. Meron tayong factor agad. That is actually uh, negative 2 thirds. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? So, ganito yung gagawin natin. So, ang nakuha natin actually is parang ganito. X is equal to negative 2 over 3. Okay? So, meaning, ang factor natin doon, uh, dapat uh, x uh, 3x plus... 2 equals 0. But wag niyong kalimutan, meron kasi tayong y kanina. So, ilagay lang natin ang y. So, yan na. Meron ka ng uh, isang factor. Okay? Check natin yung isang factor din. Yan. Uy. Unfortunately, yung isang factor natin, uh, <clears throat> actually, hindi uh, imaginary number yung kung makikita nyo. Mayroon tayong imaginary number. Okay? So, actually, ang, fac ang next factor nito is... Uh, quadratic tapos hindi natin mapafactor okay so anyway check natin yung uh, yung divisor baka kasi pwede natin i-factor out yung divisor ano yan uh, mode equation pa rin tapos ano yan 1 sorry mode 5 punta tayo dito sa quadratic okay so yung divisor that is 1 negative 2 at saka same pa din, i-neglect nyo muna yung y. Okay? Uy. Uy. Notice na ang, at tinan nyo, familiar kayo nito? Ito yung nakuha natin kanina. Di ba? Ito yung mga numbers na nakuha natin kanina. 1 minus 1.41. Ibig sabihin, okay, ibig sabihin, ang factor pala nito is yung isang nakuha natin na, uh, yan, 3x plus 2y, okay? And of course, yung kanina ito. Sana yun na? Ito yung x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared. Okay? So, again, uh, isang technique pa din yan. So, to factor out. Anyway, ang um, tinanong dito, hindi man to factor out ng actually to solve the remainder. So, yun nga, uh, pwede nyo gamitin lang agad yung calculating nyo to check if meron bang remainder o wala. Tapos, pag walang remainder, you can actually easily get the answer. Tapos, pag may remainder naman, wala kayong magagawa, use the remainder theorem or use the uh, long division. 
Okay? So, let's proceed sa number uh, sa number 15. Okay? So, sa number 15, uh, sasagutan natin dito yan. So, ito yung number 15. An audience now of 540 people is seated in rows having the same number of persons in each row. Now, if three more persons sit in each row, it would require two rows less to seat the audience. Now, how many persons were in each row originally? Uh, ano nga ulit yun? Break the break it okay. So, 540 people. Ah, okay. So, first, try to determine muna kung ano yung uh, mga variables mo, kung ano yung mga announce mo. Obviously, uh, nasa question, no? nasa last sentence, how many per persons were in each row originally? So, lagyan natin. So, let x equal to uh, uh, number of people, a person pala, person per row. Okay, so ganyan yan. So, yan yung unang ano natin. Ang sunod naman, how many persons were in each row originally? Three more persons. Okay, so kailangan din pala natin yung number of rows. Okay, so uh, let y naman equal to the number of rows. Yan. Okay, so okay na. So, let's create our equations. So, an audience of 540 people is seated in each row having the same number of persons in each row. So, from this sentence, malalaman natin no na the total number of people daw, okay, is actually 540. Meaning, if we will multiply, okay, if we will try to multiply the number of persons per row by the number of rows, then we can actually get 540. Walang labis, walang kulang. Kasi, exactly man, okay, having the same number of persons in each row. Okay, so, siguro pwede natin ilagay na 540 is actually equal to x times y. Di ba? Or, 540 divided by the number of rows, that is actually the number of people per row. Okay? So, yan yung first equation natin. So, depende na sa inyo, but uh, ilalagay ko na lang na 540 is equals x times y. Okay? Or x times y is equals 540. Now, ito yung next, uh, yung next sentence. If three more people daw sit in each row, it would require two rows less to sit the audience. So, if three more people, I mean, if three more persons sit in each row, ibig sabihin, uh, instead of x, okay? So, magiging x plus 3 na yan. Kasi, madadagdagan ng three people per row. Okay? So, x plus 3 daw, okay? So, x plus 3 na yan, sorry. So, it would require two rows less to sit the audience. So, instead of y, magiging y minus 2 na yan. Okay? Sa sentence na to ba? Kasi, less two rows man daw. Now, ang number of rows natin, y. So, magiging y minus 2. Now, paano natin i-relate yung dalawa? Same pa din kanina, di ba? So, the number of rows, okay? The number of rows multiplied by the number of persons per row, that must be equal to 540. Okay? So, same pa din. So, multiply lang natin itong dalawa. Ay, sorry. Yan, multiply natin. That must be equal to 540 pa din. Walang nagbago sa number of people sa theater. Okay? Anyway, uh, let's proceed. So, yun na. So, ang ano natin dito is how many persons were in each row originally. Okay? So, ang tanong actually is itong x. Number of persons per row. Okay? So, to solve for x, let's express y in terms of x. So, express natin in terms of x ang y. So, obviously, y is equal to 540 divided by x. Diba? Tama? Diba? From this equation. y is equal to 540 divided by x. So, let's try to solve. Gamitin natin yung calculus. So, ano yan? Uh, mode 1. So, there is actually x plus 3 multiplied by 540 divided by x minus 2. Okay? That is equal to ano yan? 540. Okay? Again, shift solve lang tayo, then you can actually solve for the answer. Okay? So, ang sagot natin is actually letter C. That is 27. No, bakit kaya? Medyo madali man lang to, no? Bakit kaya nagkamali yung mga students natin dito. Check natin dito kung ilan ba yung, ano yung sagot natin. Tama, ba C? So, ah, okay. Hmm. So, kaya natin yung isang, so, try natin isolve yung y. So, y is obviously uh, 540 divided by 27. Okay? Okay, so y is, ah, okay, kaya pala. Notice na, nasa choice letter A, actually yung 20. So, ibig sabihin, baka yung ibang students, I think yung ibang students, nag-select ng 20. 
Ah, tama di ba? 19% of our students ang select ang sinelect nila na answers actually 20 yung letter A. So be careful with that kasi yun nga uh, baka malito kayo. Ang tinanong is the number of rows. I mean the number of people per row, hindi tinanong ang number of rows. Okay? Kung number of rows sana ang sagot 20. Okay? But since ang tinanong number of persons per row, okay? So ang sagot actually is 27. So I hope okay tayo diyan. So x is actually equal to 27. Okay, let's proceed sa number 4 kasi nagugutom na kasi ako. Sir, sandwich. Anyway, sa number 4, uh, Maria is 12 years older than her sister Josie. 6 years ago. Okay, Maria was 4 times. Okay, same pa din. Classic uh, age problem algebra. So, uh, let X. Okay. okay uh, let M na lang. Okay, is equal to yan, Maria's age. Tapos, uh, yung J naman is equal to Uh, Josie's age. Okay. So, so, from the first sentence, Maria is 12 years older than her sister Josie. So, Maria is J plus 12. I hope agree kayo dyan kasi, of course, mas maliit yung number ni Josie. Okay? So, yung age ni Josie kasi mas matanda man daw by 12 years. So, M is equals J plus 12. So, napakadali niyan. Let's proceed sa equation 2, yung next sentence. 6 years ago, na pag may sinabing 6 years ago, meaning, yung ages natin dito, actually, para kay Maria, M minus 6. Para kay Josie naman, J minus 6. Ganun lang yun. So, M minus 6, at saka, J minus 6. Okay? Now, how will we relate this? Ito yung mga age na to. So, Maria daw was 4 times as old as Josie. Ibig sabihin, yung age ni Maria... Okay? That must be equal to 4 times sa age ni Josie. Diba? Ganun lang. Napakadali. Okay? So, meron na tayong second equation. Ang tinanong, how old is Maria's age? Ang tinanong is M. So, let's uh, let's write J in terms of M. Okay? So, ang J natin, papalitan natin yan. Ano yung J natin? J is equal to M minus 12. Okay? M minus 12. So, ganun lang. Napa Napakadali. So, again, calculator tayo. Actually, napakadali yan. So, kahit hindi ka magamit ng chips, so pwede din. Okay, so, let's solve, nat uh, solve natin. So, that is actually M minus 12 minus 6. Okay, tapos, chips, so, ka lang. Okay, so, meaning, ang sagot natin is letter A. So, Maria's age is actually 22 years old. Again, siguro maraming nagkamali kasi baka yung binigay nila is kay Josie's age or baka meron lang silang nagkamali sa, yun nga, sa equation na to. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan and, yun nga, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, uh, if interested kayo sa online review ng Bisabilia, ilalagay ko yung link sa description. Okay? So, please subscribe para makita nyo pa yung ibang mga item analysis at saka solution sa uh, mga susunod na quizzes. So, maraming salamat sa panonood and yun nga, uh, see you sa next episode. Holy Grail!